Welcome back to the Lockdown Kitchen. Today, we really are in lockdown. It's raining outside. Perfect day for a bit of bacon. Today, we're going to do something in honour of our stage manager, Octavia. Octavia's from Romania. So we're going to have a little look at a bit of classic Romanian baking. It's not like a crossover between Romanian food and British food. And I think we're really missing out because there's some great Romanian recipes out there. Today we're going to look at one of their classic bread slash cakes that is commonly baked for Easter or Christmas, but it's a great snack all year round. And it's called Cosmac. Let's get into it. Here's a fun fact. In Romania, they don't differentiate between the types of cakes in the same way that we do. We would say fairy cakes, muffins, and sponge cake. Uh, they call them all brioche, even though none of them actually are. Let's have a look at what you're going to need. Firstly, we're going to need 500 grams of plain flour. I'm using this nice Wessex mill flour that I get from my local farm shop. You'll need 100 grams of demerara sugar, 300 milliliters of warm milk, not hot, just warm. 50 grams of melted butter, 50 milliliters of vegetable oil, nothing flavored, two oranges, one lemon, some vanilla extract, some orange extract, three egg yolks, and 25 grams of instant yeast. Firstly, we're going to need to make a little paste out of the yeast. Add a teaspoon of your demerara sugar, one tablespoon of the plain flour, and then enough milk just to draw the yeast together in a kind of smooth paste. Something like two or three tablespoons should suffice. Leave the yeast mixture aside to start having fun with yourself and then sift the remainder of the flour into the bowl that you're going to be mixing your bread in. Sprinkle a little bit of table salt over your egg yolks, about a teaspoon. Grab a fork and whisk your egg yolks together. After about five or 10 minutes, your yeast will have bubbled up nicely. Add this into the sifted flour. Then add the zest of one orange and one lemon. Then your egg yolks. And lastly, your warm milk. Make sure you dissolve the rest of the demerara sugar into the milk first. This will help to bind things together. While your mixture is kneading, add a capful of vanilla essence and a capful of orange essence. Today I'm being very lazy and I'm using my Kenwood Chef to do this kneading for me. It's raining outside, but it's also completely possible to do this by hand. Whilst you're having a good knead of your mixture, add the oil and the butter. Mix them together very slowly so that they get incorporated. Now, your dough is going to get very oily. You're going to be surprised, I certainly was, at how wet and oily this dough will be. Don't be shocked, just keep kneading until it comes together. Once everything's come together into a nice smooth dough, that's probably going to take about six or seven minutes with an electric mixer, probably ten by hand, you want to transfer the dough into a ceramic bowl for rising. 
I've put just a little bit of vegetable oil in the bottom of this because it's a very, very sticky dough. And as you can see, I'm having quite some trouble getting it out of the bowl. So scrape as much of it out, as the, out of the bowl as you can and leave it in the ceramic bowl for about 40 to 50 minutes until it's doubled in size. While you're waiting for your cousin act to prove, I will tuck into a little bit of a Romanian traditional drink, Vishnata, made with sour cherries, any kind of alcohol and sugar, distilled over a period of time and generally made at home. This one generally turns up for me in discarded Evian bottles. Delicious. Now, the joy of Kozenak and what sets it apart from all other sweet loaves is that it has a filling. And like a lot of Romanian cakes, it's marbled. Marbling is Romanian's favourite thing to do with cakes. Now, let's have a little look at the filling. You're going to need about 200 grams of walnuts, a tablespoon of cocoa and two tablespoons of icing sugar. I've mixed them together already here. The juice of two oranges and I've got a tot of nice vanilla rum to put in it and some good quality dark chocolate that I've already chopped up. You're going to want to blitz your walnuts. I'm using my Nutribullet. You can do it by hand. Blitz the cocoa and the icing sugar into the walnuts. Empty everything out into a bowl. Then sift your orange juice to get rid of any nasty bits. And empty your tot of rum into the bowl. Then grab yourself a spoon, blend it together. And as Octavia says... Yes, that's the cream. Yes, that is indeed the cream. Use a pastry brush to brush some vegetable oil at the bottom of two bread pans. Then grab some grease proof paper and line both of the pans. Now, I'm going to do something really unorthodox, but I am assured that this is the way to do it. Instead of flour on my board, I'm putting vegetable oil. As I said, this is a very sticky dough, and you're going to need everything to stop it from sticking. Take your dough out of the bowl and press it into a rough rectangle on your oiled board. Grab your cream and dollop it all over the dough. And then grab yourself a spatula and spread the cream evenly over your dough. But don't go right up to the edges, otherwise it'll all spill out while it's baking. Once you've spread your cream all over the dough, grab the dough from one end and roll it up tightly. You're gonna to need to work fast. As I said, this is a very loose and sticky dough, and you can see that even I'm having some trouble here. It's a bit of a nightmare to work with, but just take your time and form it into a nice rolled sausage. Cut the sausage in half and separate it into two, and then grab a sharp knife and divide each half into two. It's not gonna like being cut and some cream will spill out, but just munch on it. And then plait each half one strand over the other. Once your dough is plaited, transfer both plaits to the bread pans and prove them again. The rain stopped, so I've popped out into the garden to wait for our Cosmac to prove for its second time. I'm tucking into a classic Romanian tea, lingonbrie. Not something we have in this country. It's an acquired taste, but pretty delicious. Now for the glaze. As is conventional for me, I like to crack one egg yolk, put it in a cup, and then add a teaspoon of milk. Grab yourself a rubber spatula and mix the two together. Decorate the top of your Kozenak with halved walnuts. This is traditional. And then grab your glaze and spread it liberally over the top. And then the final touch, 
a little bit of ground brown sugar all over the top of your Cosenac to give it a really crispy, sugary crust. Cosenac goes straight into the oven. I turn the oven up to 200 and then turn it down to 160 as soon as the, the Cosenac has gone in. And then I leave the Cosenac to cook for about 45 minutes. Forty-two minutes later, Cosenac's come out of the oven, beautifully brown, soft in the middle, with a lovely, super sweet and unctuous filling. There you go, the classic Romanian marbled Easter and Christmas loaf, fresh out of the oven and absolutely delicious. So there you go, a Romanian loaf for Easter and Christmas, but delicious any time. Try it out, it's really tasty, and it's a shame we don't use this recipe more in England. Ne revenim, Gorut, ship of the Buddha.